Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to the second Understanding with IQ and the Teaching System. My name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to be moderating and helping you out. If you could just add in the chat box uh, where you're from and anything else you'd like to add. A little bit about me. I've been using WizIQ since 2007. And uh, the reason I chose WizIQ after I had used other systems was because WizIQ caters to teachers. In other words, they listen to what I need. And uh, they've been really good at it for the past seven years. Uh, and you're welcome to also make suggestions so that uh, they can improve the system. The only thing they're interested in is learning and helping teachers like us and uh, would-be teachers, if you're not a teacher yet, teach online in blended and in the flipped classroom. So I'm getting a lot of uh, really interesting places here. I see I've got North Africa, uh, Cyprus, Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Europe, Manchester, hello, Dr. Leon, and Houston, United States, South America, Venezuela, uh, Massachusetts, United States. Uh, that's as far as I can see. I'm sure people will be coming in. We've got Poland, also in Europe, and we've got North Carolina, hello, and that's Reginald Vickers, Reggie and Denise. That's really great. And uh, let's see, Virginia uh, near uh, Washington, D.C., Missouri. All right, so we've got quite a crowd here. I hope it's not too early in the morning, even though I did change the session. I'm trying to uh, change the times and the days so that uh, people can manage. And we've got Larry from the United States. All right, so great. So this session is really important because it's about content. And uh, even though uh, we'd like to think that uh, students should be able to come up with their own content, they need us. Okay, they need uh, someone to lead them and take them through the content and help them develop their own content. And that's why uh, Today is about content. Last session, we talked about uh, the layout of the WizIQ class, and we're going to go over and review uh, how many of you did not make it, how many made it. So there's a smiley there. You can get your thumbs up if you made it, your thumbs down if you didn't make it. I know I made it. I was here. And Thomas is here so that uh, he'll probably copy the chat for us. And feel free to use the chat box as we go. Oh, Helen, you didn't. The chat box is a great way um, to connect and learn together. It's also a good way to uh, make friends. I made some really close friends in chat boxes because I like to disrupt uh, the class. In a face-to-face -face class, I have to be polite and well-mannered, so I keep my mouth shut. But I like to doodle. And the chat box is a kind of... Uh, gives me permission, and I'll give you permission, to feel free to chat away, something we can't do face-to-face. -face. So use the chat, text away. If you want to share links or anything else, just feel free to do that. Um, if you get a notice that uh, you should get rid of the webcam, you're invited to do that. I'm going to do it right now so that um, the session goes on well. So we're going to review, as I said. We're also going to look at the differences between home and profile, which was what we did um, last time, last week, and we're also going to have a task of the week. Now, these tasks of a week are really important for you, but you can go at your own pace. Don't feel that you need to uh, stay up at night, or uh, if you have fever, or if you're sick, that so you have to do it. Okay, life goes on, and we should uh, be proud not drive ourselves nuts. Okay, so uh, take it as you should. All right, so today's session is about content library, uploading content, organizing it on WizIQ, and then you'll get your task of the week homework. All right, so how many of you have a uh, WizIQ account as a teacher? So teacher is important. If you have it as a student, please change it to a teacher. And if you've got problems, let me know. 
and I'll do my best. If you need me at any time, um, my email is nellydeutsch at gmail.com. Okay, that's one of my emails. They all go to Gmail anyways, so feel free to use that. Uh, I have one, but how do I do the thumbs up sign? Okay, Leon, thumbs up, you go to the uh, smiley. There's a smiley uh, on the right of the chat box area where you send information. You can also change the color. Notice there's a lot of information there. You can change the color of the font. You can change the size and you can add your smiley. So you got it. Excellent. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the layout. This is just a little bit of a review. I'll go through it very quickly unless you want me to slow down. If you do, just say slow down or give me a thumbs down or some indication that you're not happy. You can also have, uh, you know, there are different faces here. Okay. So feel free to use them. Barcelona. Great. All right. So there is the left, the center and the right. Okay, which reminds me of Moodle right now. Uh, if you're not happy with it, feel free to make your suggestions. Hello, Jack. Good to see you. And we're going to focus on the left and the right, but maybe on the left, that's where the content library is. So if you're looking at your um, account, you should be under home. Okay, there are two areas. There's home and your personal account profile settings. Okay, this is my name here. And if I click on this, I'll get a whole different layout of the page. Okay, so this is really important. Thank you, Charles. Good to see you here. So the content, as you can see, is on the left, but it's also upload content on the right. We're on the home page. So notice the red, green, and blue, and what's there. Last time we talked about blink. Do you remember what it was? Attentional blink. I practiced today this attentional blink. It's amazing that we don't know what we miss. Uh, attentional blink is really important because even though you think you see everything, you don't know what you don't see, what you miss because of a blink. Okay, it happens. And today I was proctoring an exam and there's no way, you know, if someone's cheating, uh, they're going to get away with it because there's no way a person can see everything. So if you're focusing on one thing, you're not going to see something else. So it's kind of difficult. So feel free to keep looking at it until you see everything. Um, all right. And we're going to go through it right now with numbers. All right. So we're looking now, not at home, now we're on my personal profile page. And you can see number one is my name, that's at the top right. Then number two is profile settings, privacy setting, notification settings, and a lot of information. What's important is number three. Notice number three, number three is time zone and PayPal. You wanna get paid, okay? This is about making a living, okay? We, we don't do things uh, just because we want to. Well, we want to, but we also need to um, make sure that we're uh, getting food and nourishment so that we can survive. So PayPal account is one way of getting paid for the courses that you give. Number four, you want to get followers. And then there's more. Okay, there's a lot more down here. Okay, so focus on the page and tell me what you see. Okay, as you look at this page, what do you see? Uh, Lexi, you're talking about time zones, and this is the right time, exactly, it was the right time to take a look at this, okay, time zone. You go into your account under your name, click on that, and then you'll be able to get your profile and your settings and change your time zone. Make sure that it's the right time zone, okay, because technology is really perfect, um, so try it out and see if it works. And if it doesn't, well, we'll have to work something out. All right, so uh, no followers section. Yes, the followers is down here. I just didn't want to get it. But if you take a look at my page, okay, and my page is this one. 
www.wizIQ. Remember, we talked about this last time, IT for All. This is my organizational page, and you'll see that I have quite a few followers. If you go through that, you'll see the exact... Exactly, Nevis. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, if somebody asks a question and you know the answer, I... Uh, a great way to sustain what you learn is to share it with other people. So let's take a closer look at this profile page with my name. Okay, notice you have profile settings, membership status, help center, sign out. And then you have these things that are actually under home. Okay, so let's take a look at home. Now we're under home. Okay, we're right here on home. And notice what information we have here. This is just a review of what we did last time. So this is the home page. Okay, this is home. Notice the question marks. The question marks are there for you to get help. If you click on them, you'll be able to learn more. So you had to create three courses. A paid course, a private course, and a MOOC course. That was your assignment or task from last time as well as one class, schedule a class. And that was it. Okay. And uh, right now, the content. The content is on the left of your home. Okay, again, we're on a home. And number two is where you upload the content or your uploaded content, okay? So you can upload content or embed content. Number two is what you've already added, what's there in your account. Number three is how you wanna share your content. Do you wanna make it private or do you wanna make it public? And it's up to you. You can also edit number four by at any time. And this is really important because I like to edit. I make a lot of mistakes. And I'm never really satisfied, so I keep editing and editing. So for me, having this feature is really, really important. You can also add it to a course or add it to a folder. It's up to you. You can also do both. Any questions so far? Oh, you'll get this, Alexi. I'm just going through it, but you're going to get this. You can't possibly remember everything that I'm saying but you'll be able to get the PowerPoint presentation in the courseware of Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. Okay, but I'm gonna give you the link to the PowerPoint presentation. And this is the value of working online. Everything is on the cloud. Everything can be shared with a link and I love this because in the old days we used to have to save things on our computer and that was so this gives you a chance to share links and put them in your browser and there you are okay so upload content is under home remember you go to home and then you'll get the upload content on the right you also get it on the left and on the left, it's under Content Library. Under con Content Library, if you click on it, on the left, you'll come up with Upload Content or Embed Content. But we're going to start with Upload. Now, you've all done this when you shared content, files, through your email, you go through a browser. I just want to show you the different things that you can upload to your account and to your content library on WizIQ. So these are the different things. You can actually upload everything but images. And I've asked WizIQ to provide this because I think that images are really important. And the only way you can um, share images is through a PowerPoint presentation or a PDF file. So uh, this, I hope, will be in the making soon. If there are other files that you don't see here that you'd like to be able to add, 
just uh, contact with IQ and ask them. All right, so uh, you can get a PowerPoint presentation up. You can get a an Excel doc file, a Word file, PDF, audio, video, and different kinds. Notice the different kinds of videos. Okay, depending on whether you're a Mac user or a Windows system user, you can also get a flash up there. Once you get your file up, and I'll show you what I did, uh, you'll be able to uh, give it a title. You need a title, you don't need a description, but you should because you want people to know where you came from. So either through your courses or through your uh, personal account link, you want people to connect the content with you. Okay, this is a wonderful way of marketing yourself and your work. So this is important. In addition, I would allow everyone to view my content unless it's a paid course and you, these are all very private. Okay, so you can have public or private files. Okay, now courseware and content. I want you to try and I'm going to screen share. I'm going to take you. I hope you're ready for a screen share. That means that I'm going to freeze. Are you ready to see? <laughs> I took away my, I'm going to freeze for a second while I screen share because I'm on a Mac. Uh, soon uh, I won't have to do this because uh, there's going to be a desktop for Macs as well. Right now there are only desktops for Windows. So um, nothing's happening. You probably see me frozen or something or other. But if you watch the YouTube video that I'm creating, you'll be able to uh, see all this. All right, here I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I've done all the allowing for the Java screen share. Okay, so I'm going to take away my video, my webcam anyways. Thank you too. Here we are. Okay, first of all, I'd like to take you to my site. I hope you can see this. If not, you'll see it in the recordings, but I'm sure you can. Okay, so I'm gonna go to, here is the content. Notice where I'm going. Okay, um, that's not where I wanna go. Um, this is where I wanna go. Okay, this is my organization. Notice what I have here under the link that I shared with you, my account link. Okay, it has all the courses that I give. Okay, a list of the courses, some are paid, some are free, most of you are free. And then I have my followers. Somebody asked, where are the followers? There are 10,000 right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go to home. Okay, I'm going to go to home. By the way, premium accounts, you can get a premium if you're a teacher. Okay, here's a live class on the right. Now this is my home page. Notice I have all this information. Take a look at what you have on yours. It's probably not the same as mine. I've accumulated a lot of things in, in the past seven years. I'm going to go into this course that you should join if you haven't joined it already, where you'll be uh, receiving all the information. Okay. Hmm. All the information and I'll show you what information. Let me add that in the chat. No, it's not the right one. Let me go back and see if I can, for some reason, there we go. Okay. So here is the link to the course. It's called Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. I, I saw somebody say lost. Nelly can't lose you with all those people following you around. Oh, <laughs> no, I'll never, I'll never lose anybody. Don't worry. Um, all right. So uh, here we are. Here is the course. And notice I'm the owner of the course or the creator of the course. So I have course feed, courseware, add a live class, add content. I can add content through my course. And this is really important. Okay. Now, if you're a member of the course, 
you can go into courseware and get all the information, all the content. In other words, you'll be able to get the tutorials, PowerPoint, PDFs, audio, video, text files, as well as the live classes and the assignments. Notice live classes, if you click on the live classes under courseware, whatever classes in the past, like this November class, you can view the recording. Okay, I have to go in through another account, but every link becomes in the classes, past links are the recordings and future upcoming session links will be live. Okay, here's one for June 30th. Okay, I just wanna show you that. I also wanna show you some other things, okay? Things that you saw in the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, first of all, I'm on home and I'm in a course called Learn. Okay, this is information that you should be aware of. Okay, this is an online course. The name of the course is the top left. I'm under home. This is the information for me as the manager of the course. And this is what the students also see or the learners. You can share this course link, which is at the bottom right-hand side. You can also like it, tweet it, share it on LinkedIn and on Google+. Okay, I'm not going to do it now. If you're making money on the course, you can also, of course, collect money. In addition, course settings, once you set up your course, notice that you can get notifications and you can also let students enroll one another. If it's a paid course, it doesn't matter. In a paid course, they can invite attendees and then the attendees will be prompted to pay. Okay, so it's important whether it's a paid course or a free course that you fill in all the course settings. Okay, now let's go back to the content. Okay, so let's say I want to add content to this course. I go into the center where it says upload content and then this is my browser. I can either take the information from my computer or embed it. Okay, now notice um, what you can embed. You can embed YouTube videos. Okay, and other documents, but you're limited in what you can embed. I don't know why that came through. All right, so uh, let's go back to home. I want to show you now, I want to leave the course, go back to my page, and go into the content library on the left. Okay, this is what I showed you. Okay, this is my content library. I can filter things through the various documents. Notice the embed content, YouTube, author screen, stream, script, slide share, and others. I can also upload content from here as I did before. It looks exactly the same. I can embed content and then I can take a look at my content. Now, once I embed, I may want to add the content to a folder and I can create a folder by giving it a name and then add the content to the folder. Okay, you notice that this is the link to today's PowerPoint presentation and I've added it under a folder that I call Understanding Wiz IQ. I also uploaded a video, okay, over here. And I'm going to show you all that right now. So let's go back to class. That's the end of our screen sharing. Notice what happens uh, when I screen share. You may have found that all your things are at the bottom left. And I'll be talking about minimizing and maximizing and turning the classroom, the WizIQ live class, into uh, a class that caters to your needs. So you can minimize everything. And if you want to bring it back, 
there's an arrow that you pop out. Okay, so number one is the courseware in a course. Number two, you can add content through a course. Okay. Next, Alexei, I think that it'll be quite easy if you just follow the PowerPoint presentations. Okay, and if anyone is able to answer, if you ask questions, it'll be a lot easier. So whatever the question happens to be, just add it in the chat box and either I or someone else will answer it for you. Okay, so use the chat box to ask questions. All right, so notice that under your content, uploaded content, the courseware is on the left side of a course. So if we're talking about this course, Alexei, you will find the courseware on the left side. Okay. So this is my uploaded content, upload content number one. I can add content to a course from recent files or from old files once I'm in a course. Okay, here again is my browser. If I want to embed content, I can go to YouTube or Vimeo, get the hyperlinked codes and just paste them. And here you can see some of the websites that support embed codes. Okay, there's YouTube, Script, AuthorStream, SlideShare, and Vimeo. Vimeo wasn't added here, but you can also add Vimeo. Okay, so let's see, are there any questions so far? Oh, by the way, Tom, uh, students can see the courseware in a course as a learner. They're not able to add content to the course, but they're able to share content with the instructor of the course. And then the instructor can add the content, and I'll be showing this in a minute. Okay, back to um, our uploaded content. Number one, hello, Professor Oliver, good to see you. Number one, number two, and number three. This is what you will see on your page under home. Okay, and then this is your uploaded content. You've seen this page before. It can be private or public. And then let's take a look at some of the uh, document files that you can upload. Okay, you've got them on the left. And the embed ones, YouTube, we've gone through them, and others includes Vimeo. Okay, so notice that you can filter and find your documents through the different files. Actually, WizIQ has so much that it'll take time for you to notice everything. Remember the blip, attentional blip? You can't see everything at once, so don't feel that you have to. Okay, just sit back and let the information come through, okay? I wanted to show you what I added as an embed. I added a YouTube video and I also added a YouTube video, a, a video, and I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so let me screen share once again and show you the classroom. Are you ready for a screen share? This time it's not going to take more than a second. There we are. Now let me take you to this area. Okay, just let me know in the chat box what you see. Let me make it a bit larger here. Can you tell me what you see on the whiteboard in the center? Okay, the PowerPoint presentation is hidden. What do you see? You see upload content. Okay, very good. But this is a media player. Does anybody notice the word media player anywhere? Do you see it? Notice I asked you, what do you see in the center? You went smack into the center, which is what happens to us. We don't see. Um, and this is the attentional blip. 
we don't see what we're not asked to look at. Okay, the media player. Anybody see it? Anybody see the media player? You see it now. Amazing, right? It's right there. Now you think, why didn't I see it before? Well, that's that's how we are, okay? We are this way. Okay, so let me just play this for you a little bit. This is what I uploaded just before this class. It didn't take long. Here we go. Tell me if, once you hear it. I hope you'll hear it. Hear anything? You hear two voices. Okay, that's here something. Okay, I'm going to stop that. Okay, let me stop it and try this one. Okay, tell me if you hear this. Today I'm going to show you how to upload content. Today I'm going to show you how to upload content as a teacher or as a student, but we're going to focus on teachers on with that too. So let's get started. Upload content. You'll find this under home on the left. And on the right, okay, so look for it there. I'm going to click on Browse, go into my system, into today's PowerPoint presentation. And it's called Content. Click on it. Choose. I'm on a Mac, so it may not look the same as yours. I'll add, I'll write down content. I can always edit this part. And then I'll allow everyone notice what I've done here. And then... I'm going to wait for the content. So let me try that again. Okay, here we go. The content is a PowerPoint presentation. You can see it uploading. Okay, understanding the WizIQ system for teachers. I may just want to copy that and add in the description. I can also add the link of the session, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to allow everyone notice. I want everyone to be able to download whatever I have because I'd like to share and I'm open with what I create. It's all for free. People can use it and remix it. And then now I'm going to wait. I can make it public, but I've made it sorry, I can make it private, but I've made it public and then I'm going to wait. Notice it's here twice. Even though I only, because I did it twice, it's very, very fast, so be careful. You can always delete one of them. And then the waiting begins. Okay, so here I am. Here are the two content understanding. Notice I can filter and check for it. So now I'm going to go into the live classroom so I can upload it. But I may want to create a folder, which I have already. Okay, create a new folder right there. So let's take a look at that. Okay, I've created a folder. Let's open and view the folder that I have created for this. Okay, the folder is called Understanding, but I like to add it to Teach. Okay, so I'm going to be adding it here. Well, these are the other things that I have. So let's go back now to All and see if it's there, if it's processed. Notice here I have. Um, icons for the processing. Sometimes it doesn't work out because my system slowed down or I was disconnected from the internet. So make sure that um, you're able to see what's going on. In order to see the process, I'm going to go back into home. Okay, out of this my content page that I can see uh, what's happening. All right, so let's go into home and then on the left I can see my content library and see what's happening. Okay, maybe I went away, I came back, I want to see what's going on. And I want, okay, so look, it failed. And one of the reasons it failed is because we leave the page. So let's start all over. Okay, we're going to upload content, browse, go into the PowerPoint. But this time we're going to stand by. 
going to get us uploading and we're not going to leave. We're only going to allow it for everyone. Let me add the description and wait patiently. It's not a big file, but it's still worthwhile waiting. It said it's completed it, but notice I have to click on continue. Continue is like save, so let's click on that. Maybe Today I'm going to show you how to more. upload content. Just remove them. Today I'm going to show you how to upload content as a teacher or as a student, but we're going to focus on teachers on WizIQ. So let's get started. Okay, so Upload content. You'll find this up, under Home on the left and, and on the right. Okay, so look for it there. I'm going to click on Browse, go into my system, into today's PowerPoint presentation, and it's called Content. Click on it. Choose. I'm on a Mac, so it may not look the same as yours. I'll add, I'll write down content. I can always so edit this part. Okay, and then and I'll allow everyone notice what I've done here. And then I'm going to wait for the content. So let me try that again. Okay, here we go. The content is a PowerPoint presentation. You can see it uploading. Okay, understanding the WizIQ system for teachers, I may just want to copy that and add in the description. I can also add the link of the session, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to allow everyone notice. I want everyone to be able to download whatever I have because I'd like to share and I'm open with what I create. It's all, all for right, free. So, uh, People can use it and remix it. And then now I'm going to wait. I can make it public, but I've made it. Okay, so I've got the class open. Sorry, I can make it private, but I've made it public. And then I'm going to wait. Notice it's here twice, even though I only, because I did it twice, it's very, very fast. So be careful. You can always delete one of them. And then the waiting begins. Okay, so here I am. Here are the two content understanding. Notice I can filter and check for it. So now I'm going to go into the live classroom so I can upload it. But I may want to create a folder, which I have already. Okay, create a new folder right there. So let's take a look at that. Okay, I've created a folder. Let's open and view the folder that I have created for this. Okay, the folder is called Understanding. But I like to add it to Teach. Okay, so I'm going to be adding it here. Oh, these are it. And the other things that I have. So let's go back now to all and, and see if it's there for the process. Notice here I have uh, icons for the processing. Sometimes it doesn't work out because my system slowed down or I was disconnected from the internet. So make sure that um, you're able to see what's going on. In order to see the process, I'm going to go back into Home. Okay, out of this My Content page that I can see yeah, what's happening. All right, so let's go into Home. And then on the left, I can see My Content Library and see what's happening. Okay, maybe I went away, I came back, I want to see what's going on. And I want, okay, so look, it failed. And one of the reasons it fails is because we leave the page. So let's start all over. Okay, we're going to upload content. And that's it. I've just added browse. And I'll see you in class. Go into Wait. the PowerPoint. Bye but this time we're going to stand. By. Okay, so that was just class. Uh, what I wanted to show we're you is that it for everyone. you should create okay, or schedule rather a live class. Go in it's there a big for right now, but go in there and waiting. start working. Okay, That's the only way to do it. it. The only way to do it is actually to, to create continue. a video like I did continue from like save a live so class, a demo class. There was nobody in class. Hey, okay, there, you've seen the okay, case. So I could do a lot so of things just in the remove classroom. them. Okay, let's uh, continue just if there aren't any courses, any questions. Sorry about that. All right, so this is a Vimeo that I added. 
I love Vimeos. I think that they're the quality. Yes, so I'm going to remove receipts coming up, but, but I'm thing. going to remove. So we talked about one. We talked that. about two. We talked about okay, three. Because okay, so we talked about uploading content, the uploaded content, the embedding, okay, and so sharing. Remove, and remove this one as well. And adding to folders. And okay, that's it. what we've done so far. And then wait around for this one to be processed. Let's continue right, with the so folders. Wait. It's really important to create folders so, so that your here work it is. is organized. Okay, we've Organization is really and now important. We can edit and with IQ, the information we can allows you to do that. The link so you can so create on. different we can folders delete it, which we don't by going do. to the We've left the number of, pages of your that it has. uploaded you content. You can also add it to the folder. Which Again, is what I'm uploaded going to do content now, so on the left. Create a new folder. I created a folder called, and you saw it. The understanding was that like I created so the I'm folder add it before this class. I gave it a name. Folder called I can rename it any time, and I can delete it. And I love deleting now it's in stuff. In a course, it's okay. In so why is course content I added important? It okay. Now that we've gone so, uh, through some of the uh, here, it's ways that you can add content and add in the different files that you can add to WizIQ. What is the value of content? So this is where I can edit. All right, so allows you to connect up, with your students now, and for and your students to, to connect with one another. Okay, so I've it's got a the prompt. class open. There okay, it is. Okay, so you can create my files my on WizIQ. to take place. You upload them in about two hours. Them. So you can organize them in a library and store so them. Store so them. I'm going to go into the library. You can share which them is right here. Okay, you there can it start is. a discussion so on your library. This is great for heavy the things. Links are that you the can't really uh, content your computer so system. Content why would you want to save it a there link anyways. that you can I like add to, to your my browser system? Remember a link and put things and on the you cloud can share and that you was the place and great start place a discussion. To store your, uh, and you content. can also download right, so there it is, but your you, work back. Now, now this is what you can do as a teacher. You can see, but as a student right here, you can do the same add thing. It to class. Your students I want to show you that if can, I have a lot of files, which I usually they can do, upload them, the organize them in their do, library, open share up the them, library, and plus. discuss them. I'll and go do into the public. Same thing this is public and not private. But I can also not only for the teacher, it's also private. And then I'm going to go into the notice here at the very bottom. Okay, this is me before the class, and this is what I want to show you about minimize. And maximize. So there it is, and easy to live access. Live virtual classroom. You can also you search. See? Just okay. let me know. For Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you see this arrow. Okay, so let's right add now. Class. Take a look, and we're Just ready to go. Above the session, my it's head. Start in two hours. Oh, you don't see my and head. I'm so excited. There's my head. So I'm looking forward to it's above seeing my there. head. Do you so see the arrow? Need to read. All right. Do you see it? Now notice what I'm going to do. Click it's on that. Twice. Click okay, on the so arrow one. and see what happens. Okay. All right. So here it is. And I notice the border is white. I'm Where kind of did it go? I like it to be black. Where okay, did so now it's black. the image in okay. the webcam go? Uh, I'm screen Where did it go? Let me show you the rest of it. Okay. Here. If you can just okay, write so down where it went. When you and that's it. I've just added content. Down and I'll below. see you in class. Can't wait. On the left. Bye for now. Now, where exactly on the left? Did it stay on the white board in the center? In the middle. Exactly. It didn't go too far. Okay. Try it again. Okay. And then you can move it around. Hold on to it with your mouse and move it around. Okay, uh, and have fun doing that. Move it around and see where it goes. Are you moving it around? It's at the top right. You're right. Now click on the arrow and make it move around. Okay, so just give me a thumbs up if you're moving it around, if you're moving my webcam around. I hope I don't get dizzy with all this movement. But are you moving me around? You're moving. It's moving or you're moving. <laughs> it's moving, but I want you to move it on your computer. <laughs> moving on mine and I'm sharing it with you. But you can make it move on yours. Okay, It's not moving. We've got kids in technology and he says or she says, yes. Yes, Reginald. Very good. And Denise, it's moving. All right, now I want you to go to the mini. You see the minus sign? Click on the minus sign and see what happens. Okay, go to the minus and see what happens. Did you do that? What happened? 
what happened? What happened? Nothing happened when you clicked on the minimize? No way. That's right, it went down. Jan, try it again. Try it again. There's mine. I'll bring it back. Okay, minimize it. It says minimize when you hover your mouse over it. It goes down bottom left. Now, if you click on it at the bottom left, it'll pop up. It'll pop up to the center or pop in and then pop it in back to where it belongs. Okay. All right. So that's modular. Let, now let's take a look at, that's the end of my, uh, let's take a look at the attendee list. Do you see the attendee list right here? Do you see this um, minus? If you click on the minus, it'll go down. But So let's click on the arrow. Okay, let's click on the arrow of the attendee list and let's see what happens. It goes to the middle. Just let me know in the chat if it's in the middle. In the middle, it's on the upper right. Very good. That's right, Joseph. You're very accurate. Let's make it larger. Let's expand it. Well, you can expand it on your system. I'm doing it on mine. You can expand it and make it as large as you want. Okay, now let's pop it, let's minimize it and pop it right back. Okay, now the attendee list is not really that important. What's important is the chat. So let's go down to the chat and let's click on the arrow. Okay, we're in the chat, click on the arrow. Now this is really important for me. And the reason it's important for me is that I don't see too well. I mean, I need glasses for reading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it large in the middle. And look how nice that is. Now it's in the middle. You click on the arrow for the chat box. You don't minimize it unless you don't want to talk to anybody. And then you can write and it's a lot bigger. Hello, now I can see so much better. How about you? How about you? How? Isn't this fun? <laughs> How about you? Okay, so look, it's right in the middle. If it bothers me, I can move it uh, a little to the side, but at least I can see what I'm writing. Okay, Allison? Allison, what you do is you click under, okay, let me take it back. Do you see the minimize here? Let me, here, do you see the white screen? Okay, right here. And then there's the chat. And then there's a minimize and an arrow. If you click on the arrow, it'll go to the center of the page and then you can play around with it, move it around, make it larger and have fun. Okay, so minimize and maximize. And you want to show <laughs> that's me before this session. Okay, this is what I look like before this session. This is what I look like now. <laughs> okay, uh, before and after. All right, so again, you see the arrow? The arrow means that you pop it from where it is to the center. The minus is minimize, and the large one is if you want to make me really big. Okay, and I don't think you want to do that. In case you do, let me take my... It could be embarrassing. Pop in is if you minimize it and you want it back, you want to pop it in. Okay, so this is just a little bit of uh, fun on the WizIQ class. Okay, now back to content library. Are you ready to continue with the content? We're in the class now, and we want to add from the content library. Okay, how do we do that? Now, if you create, if you schedule the class, you should have had this information. If you want to sustain information, I suggest you schedule a class, do what I did, screen share with free Screencast-O-Matic. That's the only way to learn, trust me. Screencast o o matic dot com screencast o matic it's completely free and then 
you can teach us. Screen cast omatic teach. Okay, teach me how you use the live class. Okay, by creating a tutorial and walking me through or walking yourself through, you will remember. Okay, so we want to sustain learning. The best way to sustain learning is to teach someone else. Now here you can teach anyone who will watch your video. Okay, you can add this afterwards from Screencast-O-Matic to Vimeo or uh, to uh, Google Drive. Yeah, you can use Jing, but Jing is only five minutes. What happens if you go over time? Okay, Allison. So Screencast-O-Matic is free and you can go on for an hour or as much as you want 20 minutes okay so you don't get timed out that's why i like uh, screencast-o-matic okay and so let's go back to the content library okay we're in the content library everybody here with me okay jing is free too yes i use jing for images to cut images i don't use it for videos I use uh, Screencast-O-Matic to uh, show demonstrations. Okay, so notice I go to the library and then number one, I can open up the library and remember how I divided my library? Please add in the chat box. Let's see if you remember. How did I divide, how did I organize the content in my library? Okay, let's see who gets it first. How did I organize it? Uh, I do a lot of screencasts. Uh, of course, I have screencasts for three hours. I think it's unlimited. But if you're on a Mac, you can use uh, you can use QuickTime. Okay, QuickTime is completely free. And it go, you can go on for four hours, five hours, but it's free only on a Mac. Okay, so quick time if you're on a Mac. How many of you are on a Mac for Macs? It's completely free. If you're not, then use Screencast-O-Matic. Plus Screencast-O-Matic, oh, you're missing out on a great free... I mean, I have Camtasia, but if I knew about QuickTime, I wouldn't buy Camtasia because it keeps crashing. Okay, so if you're not on a Mac, use Screencast-O-Matic. It's free. Screencast-O-Matic.com. Okay, there it is. All right. So number two, you add to the class, and this is exactly what I did. You also need to refresh every once in a while. Okay, so use the refresh button for your content in case it's taking time. And my content, nobody answered my question. Did anybody answer my question? How did I divide the content in my library? The answer is right there. Folders, exactly. Folders, not files, folders. They're divided by files, but automatically by WizIQ. But folders, okay, these are the folders that I created. Now notice the last folder, number three. Why am I excited about this last one? This is a new feature on WizIQ. Why am I excited about number three? Okay. Why am I excited? Why do I think this is amazing? That's right, because of the blink. There's attention, remember? Attention. Okay. Um, where we don't see things, even though they're there, we don't see them because we're looking for something else. Okay, so we don't see these um, things, but it's right there. Number three, shared. Your students or your participants or learners, whatever you want to call them, your colleagues can share files with you and you can add them to the live online classes. So when I give MOOCs, and when I give um, conferences and a lot of uh, uh, presenters need to share their PowerPoint presentations with me, they share and I just add them. Okay, I add them to the live online class, which is really, really uh, great. Okay, and here I am again, number one, refresh. 
Okay, please refresh number one. You need to refresh your content library in the virtual classroom. And notice number two. If you don't know about it, you might not find it, and then you'll have this in front of your face. So what are you going to do? Delete. Okay, number two is delete, so pay attention to that when you want to get rid of it. Okay, again, these number, the green is, are the different files, okay, that you can get from your browser and bring to, let me just make sure that I, uh, I'm going to extend the class. Okay, now, the moment you've waited for, your task of the week, your task of the week is to upload content and add to your library. So you're going to organize your library, organize your library and add content. Okay, this is your chance to add content and the content can be text, audio, video, and that's it. So the only way to learn is to practice. Okay, so this is your chance. Practice and ask questions. And where are you going to ask the questions? In the course called Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology under Chorus Feed. That's right. Chorus Feed equals discussion. And where are you going to get the content? Where will you get the content? In the course? There you are. Thank you, Tom, for adding that. Yes. And who is going to answer your questions? Everyone who has the answer. And this is a great way to sustain learning by helping somebody else who has a question. Okay, so I'll be there as well. You will get the content. Thank you very much, Nevis, in the courseware. All right, so join Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology and Moodle MOOC or that's starting today. And this is um, Harmon, who's the CEO of WizIQ. And the reason that I am still with WizIQ is because Harmon is passionate about teachers. He loves teachers and he wants to help them. Okay, he doesn't want to sell anything. He just wants you to use WizIQ. That's all he cares about. Okay, and anyone can get a free premium account free premium account if they want to teach okay and if you work for an organization a school and such and if you can't afford it you can ask Harmon to get a free account and he'll give it to you all right so if you want to make money it's a good way to make money and you can do it for free so thank you everybody and I'll see you in a couple more hours on the opening of Moodle MOOC 4. And I'm really excited about that. So uh, see you later. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being here. And uh, ask, ask, and practice, practice, and keep asking questions. You can only ask questions if you practice. And Poonam, I hope you feel better. I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. And anybody else who's not feeling well, I hope you feel better. And if you're feeling well, I hope you continue feeling well. So take care of yourselves. And be happy. Thank you. This was being recorded without the attendee list or the uh, chat box and will be uploaded to uh, YouTube and Vimeo. See you in about two hours. Bye-bye. <laughs>